This is Akashwani, the news read by Narang Koyang. The very severe cyclonic storm Bipurjoy is expected to make landfall today in the evening near Jakkau, port of the Kutch district of Gujarat. According to India Meteorological Department, the storm is expected to cause massive damage. It is very likely to cross Saurashtra and Kutch and adjoining Pakistan coast between Mandavi and Karachi near Jakkau port of Gujarat with a maximum sustained wind speed of 125 to 135 km per hour, gusting to 150 km per hour. The sea condition is likely to be very rough. IMD issued a red message cyclonic warning for coastal areas of Saurashtra and Kutch districts. Bipurjo is currently located 210 km west southwest of Jakau port. 220 km west southwest of Debumi Dwarka and 230 km west southwest of Nalia. The Met Office has also predicted rain all over Gujarat for four days from today. Heavy to very heavy rain is likely over Kutch and Saurashtra. From today, heavy rain and destructive winds will start blowing. The maximum impact of the severe storm will be seen in Kutch, Jamnagar, and Debumi Dwarka districts. There is a possibility of heavy rainfall in the coastal areas of these districts. Conditions are likely to worsen this evening. The state government has coordinated the assistance of Air Force, Navy, Coast Guard and Army if required during this potential disaster and these agencies are also on standby for disaster management. As a precautionary measure, over 4,000 holdings have been removed in districts prone to cyclones. A team of 597 personnel from PGVCL has been assembled to swiftly restore the electricity supply after the cyclone subsides. Essential wire poles have been made readily available at all substations and teams from other districts have been mobilized to expedite the power restoration process in the affected areas. Shelter homes have been established in the government schools and offices in the districts affected by cyclone in coastal areas. These facilities provide safe accommodations along with essential provisions such as food, water and medicine. Additionally, nearby locations have been equipped with health centers, both public and private hospitals where sufficient medical staff and necessary medications are available. Generator sets and other essential healthcare services have also been arranged in view of the very severe cyclonic storm Beeper Joy. More than 74,000 people have been safely relocated across eight districts of the state. The system is fully equipped with deal with any eventuality. Currently, state government has deployed 34 teams of NDRF and SDRF to deal with the possible effects of cyclone storm before joy. 1,25,000 food packets have been prepared by the state administration. 69 PHCs and 16 CHCs have been prepared in possible affected areas. 20 medical officers have been deputed from other districts. The G20 Agriculture Ministers' Meeting commenced in Hyderabad this morning. Over 200 delegates, including ministers of G20 member nations, invited nations and heads of various research and development institutions are attending the meeting. Minister of State for Agriculture and Farmers' Welfare Kailash Chaudhary formally inaugurated an exhibition showcasing India's agricultural know-how on the occasion, speaking to the official media. Uh, the minister said the emerging modern technologies will immensely help farmers. He said the advanced technologies like drones will help farmers to yield more. He stressed on the need for creating awareness about the new technologies. The three-day meeting will deliberate on various issues like sustainable agriculture, women agriculture, and world food and nutrition security, among others. There will be multiple side events in which in-depth and focused deliberations will be held on topics like managing agribusiness for profit, people and planet and connecting the digitally disconnected, harnessing the power of digital technologies in agriculture. The third and final working group on W20 began today at Mahabalipuram near Chennai. The first session was on the road to achieving sustainable development goals, intersection between women's health, gender equality, social and economic development, addressing the participants. Andrea Vujnor, country representative UNFPA India, said that around the world, 270 million people are without family planning and there was a need to prevent maternal deaths. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar.